Good day to you all. My name is Fortune Jekede. I'm from Zimbabwe, from the Union Zimbabwe Banks and Island Workers Union. I'm also the second, the first vice president for Uni Youth Africa. Today I would like to speak about Motion 15, which is about decent work for the youth. Uh, decent work involves an opportunity for work that delivers a fair income, preserve human dignity, provide security in the workplace and social protection for workers and their families, offers better prospects for personal development and empowers people by giving them the freedom to express their concerns and organize and to participate in decisions that affect them. Achieving decent work for young people is a critical element for progressions towards wealthier economies, fairer societies, and stronger democracies. The challenges that young workers in the world of work face are just but too many, and this include precarious work, sexual harassment, long working hours with non-payment of overtime, late trading, which succumb them to violence and robberies, casualization of labor, underemployment with little or no access to social security and human dignity. The statistics do speak for themselves and the high levels of unemployment also make it less easy for the jobs uh, as the jobs that we mostly find ourselves in as young workers are precarious and easily replaceable and somebody will be just waiting by the door to take your place if you move out. But for how long will you settle for this? For how long will you settle for half a loaf? As in the saying, half a loaf is better than nothing. How long should we continue to suffer when we continue to tell each other that there is power in unity, there is power in our numbers, there is power uh, in coming together as unions. Uh, and we believe that there is so much that the unions can do to make sure that our situation is better as young people. It is said that collective future depends on young people's skills, ideas and ability, whether they get the opportunity to apply and develop in the labor market. It is therefore imperative for union to address this situation by deeply understanding the global, the global and country-specific labor and employment issues, restoring back the power to the people, and to go back to the drawing board of the Philadelphia Declaration, where it, which emphasized that labor is not a commodity, and poverty anywhere constitutes a danger to prosperity everywhere. This cannot be achieved without the inclusion of young people and pushing the issues of young workers aside all the time because of lack of budgets. Young workers need to be at the forefront of issues that affect them at the bargaining table in order for us to achieve this goal because it's nothing for us without us. Thank you.